Okay, this is um, Maiden House fourth tour. Um, this is a, a signed Howard Finster poster for the 96 Olympics that's signed and personalized by Howard Finster. And my mom got it for me from her cousin, or her cousins Bill and Lucy, that in turn inherited this from the owners of Mark of the Potter, that's the way I understand it anyway, how it came to be in my possession. So it's it's signed to the owners of Mark of the Potter from Helen, Georgia, but that's okay. It's Howard Finster, and it's his own lettering. I love it. So one of my favorite things. So Howard Finster, famous folk artist, the best. All right, so there's that. Um, so I was doing all that filming, and I later realized that turning the phone sideways doesn't make a horizontal video. It actually messes it up. So it's my fourth recording. I, I think I'll leave the others just because... I don't know, they're a documentation of my development, but fourth recording. Here we go. Finally keeping things straight. All right. Arizona. How about that? Air, how about Arizona. Arizona. So uh, I was a freshman in grad school trying to impress people. Um, told about this wild printmaking technique called collagraph. Tried to do the hardest, most ridiculous collagraph anyone's ever seen that completely does not pay off and was able to only get one print from it before it kind of tore up. So wasn't even able to addition it, but it is a banger. So basically my print says, welcome to Chapped Lips, Arizona. Cause I had just moved to Arizona and my experience was the weather out there is real good for chapped lips. So I made this and I love how it's like a woman's torso, it's kind of sexy, um, with the hips and the and the breasts around the chap, and you're like, wait, what? Uh, anyway, never mind. Uh, don't overthink it. But um, but here's what it is. Um, it's uh, bubble wrap, um, a layer of small bubbles inked orange, and a layer of big bubbles inked yellow printed relief on a press, and then this area, the lips, are meticulously saved and glued down um, eggshell pieces. So this is all boiled egg, eggshell pieces in the pink and the turquoise. And then the, uh, the big blue Arizona. And at the top, the, uh, the Welcome 2 is meticulously cut out of chipboard with X-Acto blade. Very painstaking. And then the word chapped. And of course there's, um, the maroon around chapped is also eggshells. But the word chapped is uh, metal shavings glued down into little mounds that hold ink and can be rubbed up. So intaglio style or something. So there's some, or maybe it was relief style, I don't know. I mean the eggshell was relief, but anyway. So chapped lips, and on the side, these little curls that go up the side are also metal shavings glued down. So really weird, uh, a lot of process, a lot of weird materials, doesn't really pay off, and wasn't able to addition. Ah! Man, painful. All right, I'm gonna go over here and get over to this dark corner and see if turning on the light helps or hurts. Let's see. Ah, uh, yeah, I'll leave the light on. Okay, so um, I got this print here. It's a wood engraving of feathers and by the same artist, and it's small too. This thing, pretty small. Wood engraving of feathers by the same artist. I have a wood engraving of a heart, and they're both like maybe five inches. And can't get this to focus good. I'm jumpy, jumpy phone. Um, so the heart and the feathers. I got these from um, an undergrad from Ohio, from a, from a print program in Ohio that I met in New Jersey at a print conference, and I traded him like a punk seven inch um, that I did the the album cover for for these two prints, and that was a good deal, for sure. I love those prints. Um, this is a tin type, so this is a photograph from the 19th century, actually developed on a piece of tin, and it's got a little pink hand coloring on the bow on her hair, and then it has this turquoise at the bottom, which is not hand coloring, it's some sort of weird effect of the chemicals, but it's a weird, small, tiny little thing. I don't even know who that is, it's just a stranger. Um, this thing that says mother, let's see, it says, there's just one and only one whose love shall fail me never. 
just one who lives from sun to sun uh, with constant and endeavor. There is just one and only one. On earth there is no other. In heaven a noble work was done when God gave me my mother. So this is like got some really good uh, art on it. And I'm not sure if this is correct or not. My mom says that she thinks that her father made this for his mother when he was a little boy. Um, but it's so well made that I have a hard time believing that he made it. And I, I'm more likely to believe that he bought it. But... But it is hand done. I don't know. So crafty. But I have that. And then above it, um, I forget what this is called. My wife would know. It's hers. Um, but there's this cool double image that you like slide into a viewer and it's kind of like, I don't know, what, what's that um, thing we used to have in the 70s and 80s with the circular disc with different photographs that you slide down into a viewer? I don't know, Viewmaster. So it's, it's on kind of like a Viewmaster, and it allows you to look at these two pictures and kind of get kind of a 3D effect or something. So pretty rad. So there's that. Um, this is a, um, a mixed-media sculpture, tiny, um, that my wife made, and it's her hair and some rust chips and some seeds in a little dainty little frame, and it's awesome. And then this woman is also a tin type. We also have no idea who she is. She's not a member of the family. It's just we just found it in a junk shop and bought it. So tin type. We just like you know old photographs that are um, processes that you know predate digital um, at least. Um, so there's that. So a tin type. Um, this I just love this. Um, it broke and the painted face on it broke off. And my wife, I think um, one of us, I think she did recrafted the face there um but i love it little angel with a little child little bird on her dress love it uh and this these are the hooks in our house where we hang the the dog poop bags and the and the um the mask my wife sewed and the leashes and the keys so key hooks leash hooks by the door and that's the tour of the front door area um yeah stop there